What's up guys, it's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity build a video Today we're going to be talking about repeat tasks versus algorithm. What they are and how you can detect them. Before we begin, hit that like and subscribe button. You guys can join me on Facebook at SimCity Build It, Missy NYT. We have a page and a group. Hit like on the page, join on the group. We're almost to 3,000 subscribers. We're only like 100 and something short. So anybody here who hasn't already hit the, the subscribe button, please do so. Anytime you guys click like or even comment on the video, it boosts the algorithm of the video so it gets seen more frequently. So I really, really appreciate anybody who can take a little bit of time to go ahead and do that for me. All right. Uh, so I already did the walkthrough for this week, but I wanted to show you guys something and I highly recommend that you watch this walkthrough. All right. It is very, very important for high level players to watch this walkthrough. It is a perfect example of what is supposed to happen during your rotation. Algorithm of assignments are based off of how frequently that assignment pops up in general. Okay. Whether it be this week or, or a different week. Now, some assignments, as many of you guys know, are always in your list pretty much indefinitely. For example, the monster assignment. It's in your list every damn week. Pretty much at the start of the week, it's like always there. I don't even think I've seen a starting list without a monster in ages. Same thing with uh, repair, keys, coins. Okay, those assignments have an extremely high algorithm. Once you do them, they pretty much come back instantly making doing them pretty pointless when they're not really able to be done for a decent value and or they're difficult to complete. So they just lower your average. That being said, we avoid those types of assignments because of the, how frequently they pop up. Now, the way that I uh, wrote the comm guide, because many of you guys know, I came up with all the phrases and the technique and everything. So premium, non-premium, main, rotatable. I set all the value points. I, I went through and I wrote everything out. I set it at 2,000 because anything below 2,000 has a higher likelihood of being one of these types of assignments where it's not going to bring you anything better. That is what the main task threshold is, is 2,000. Okay. I could have wrote main task to be 1,500, but that would have left you rotating pretty much everything in your list, which would have been pointless. Now, that being said, when an assignment is at main task value, which is 2000 or higher, you rotate it based on all the criteria, va uh, value, value, opportunity, blah, blah, blah. You're comparing it against everything. Now, the algorithm of that assignment alone is not going to be the same algorithm of that assignment in this week. You're judging the algorithm based on its general algorithm rate. But sometimes your week has re your your week has repeat tasks, okay? For example, the algorithm for omega is not as high as monster. You do not week in and week out see omega as frequently as you do monster. But if you do have it in your week, once you rotate it, usually it becomes a repeat assignment. It has a good algorithm attached to it, which is why we rotate it before we rotate, let's say, uh, regional upgrades or airport homes, because it has a higher likelihood of coming back. Now, in this case, how often do you see bulbs? Not many, right? This particular assignment here being bulbs, I would not be surprised one bit if he got, you know, he does the bulb assignment and he doesn't get it back again at all for the duration of the contest. But why is that? Because bulbs has a really low algorithm. Okay. However, if it becomes a repeat task this week, it could be seen more frequently. In this week alone, he was, uh, he got the bulbs three times. That normally would not happen. So judging the algorithm based on the task in itself is low, but judging the repeat algorithm, it was high this week, considering he got it, or well, I'd say medium or medium to high for this task, because he got it three times in a row. Now, thin simoleons is another good example. Usually those assignments are around medium algorithm. Low would be like you get it once and that's it. For example, regional hotspot has a really low algorithm. How often do you get that assignment? Almost never. 
when you do, you almost never get it back, right? If it does come right back after rotating it, which is very, very rare, you wouldn't rotate it again as it's already come back once. That means that it will likely become a repeat task, which in that case would serve you no purpose in rotating it because its value can only be worth 1100, right? So if you're noticing that something has a low algorithm, because the order of rotation for high level players is to do your premiums and non-premiums at main task value, then rotate your premiums with highest algorithm. Once all premiums are gone, you rotate your non-premium with lowest algorithm. Now, if you're rotating a non-premium with low algorithm and it has turned into a repeat task, you don't continue going back to that doorway and that assignment. You would then change the course of your choice. For example, Neocoins is not a high algorithm assignment. It's pretty low. So usually we would rotate the Neocoins in at some point when the main tasks are gone. If the Neocoins has come back and it's turned into, you know, a repeat task, then we would change the course and not do that again, right? Unless for some reason it has been like 20 assignments and that's your good doorway, then you could safely say, yeah, it might be worth, uh, you know, trying again, being said this was a really good doorway to me. So everything has to be judged based on, uh, you know, the entire list of criteria. But if you guys cannot uh, watch for your doorways and your repeat assignments, you won't be able to accurately make your choices. So he's got Omega, Fins, London. Omega, War Deliveries, London. VU, Rare War Attack, Eco Bags, Tokyo, VU again. Okay, Omega again. Shovels. Now the shovels doorway sat for some time and then he moves on. And if you watch his walkthrough, you see so many of these tasks coming back around as repeat assignments. This one he got four times in a row, not in a row, but four times in the week. He got, um, let's see, Omega several, probably ten times. I, I wasn't counting, but it was a lot. Same thing with VU. So right off the get-go, at the beginning of this week, we knew which ones were going to be his repeat tasks. Okay? London, VU. Leaf Simoleons, uh, Tokyo Delivery, that is also a repeat task. Okay, Green Valley, Leaf Simoleons, VU again, War Deliveries again, VU again, Omega again. You see, that's what you want to have happen. And how many doorways did he jump this week? He only rotated, I believe, four doorways. And one of which was a mistake. He essentially, if he had made all the correct choices, he would have only worked three doorways this week. And that is what's supposed to happen as a high-level player. You're not supposed to jump around a whole lot as a high-level player because it opens up the possibility of different assignments to come in rather than repeat tasks. You want these repeat tasks to come in because they hold your algorithm or they hold your average high beings that had he rotated something else instead of Omega, then he likely would have broken that cycle and he would have got a whole different array of tasks kind of flowing into the mix, right? So in this case, for high-level players, that's what you want to have happen. You want to get into these kind of loops, so to speak. And I don't want to call it a loop because a loop is where you get the exact same set of assignments over and over. But essentially, you want to get into the groove of your repeat tasks. Now, for low-level players, that is a whole different ballpark. You guys can't afford to work one damn doorway for very long because you have to stack up all seven upgrades. That being said, you guys have to jump around a lot so that you get all different types of assignments to roll in and so that you can stack up all seven upgrades and your factory productions. Low-level comm is an entirely different ballpark. Okay, so for those of you guys looking for your repeat tasks and good doorways for low level, it's a little bit different for low level because you have to jump around too much. You want to keep track of what your good doorways are so that if you can rotate on them, you should. 
but you likely will uh, have a lot of them sealed up. So essentially what you do is you work one doorway uh, as a good doorway, and then when that doorway has been utilized and you get an upgrade on it, you basically seal it off and move to your next one. If you end up with too many upgrades with too many assignments left, then you have to cancel in order to be able to uh, get through the entire week. In that case, you would cancel the highest upgrade in the list that has the lowest value possibility. So if you have a 2400 regular residential versus a 2400 old town, you would cancel the regular residential because it's at its maximum value point. Whereas the old town could come back worth even more than the 2400, which would be even more of a problem for you. So it comes with the risk. So that's how you cancel for uh, low level. Now, if you have like three or more uh, main task valued upgrades in your list within the first 20 to 25 assignments as a low level player, then you will need to cancel one of those, at least one of those. Uh, that way you can get through the rest of your week. So good luck to you guys. Hopefully this, this helped and, and explains things, but if you guys really want to see how you're supposed to rotate stuff and what it's supposed to do when you make all the right choices, the walkthrough for this which is the video uh, that was uploaded just before this one, is going to be what you're going to want to watch. It is really, really informative, and it shows high-level players what's supposed to happen when you don't make mistakes. Once you make a mistake, you've changed the course of your assignments. I mean, even if you go back to the original doorway, you've, you've opened up different possibilities, and it has changed uh, everything. So... It's not the same as if you would have made the original choice.